and help you go back in your own family history. 23andMe, they'll give you, okay, you're 12% Irish and you're, you know, whatever, whatever percent of whatever, whatever. Okay, and like, <laughs> I, Jesus was a witch, so there's that, you know, but choose how you want to practice. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? My name is Aja. Welcome to my channel. And once again, happy 2021. I'm gonna keep the momentum going with these New Year's videos. And this one is actually my first video request. <laughs> I got a request from one of my lovely subscribers. She commented on my Instagram. She's a real bee. And her comment inspired this whole video. I have been getting stuff together in order to show you guys because I'm sure if one person had the question, a lot of you guys are wondering the same thing. How the F do you start this? How? Because Miss Dorothy asked, I'll put it right here. Did you study astrology slash crystals slash oracle cards? If so, what sort of course did you do? I look at online crystal courses, but I feel like it's all your intuition. Can you do a video on how you got into all of this? I love your videos. It's like you're dancing when you're just sitting there. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, girl. I said, hey, sorry I'm so late to reply because I replied two weeks late. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And I said, so like a how to start your spiritual journey video. And she said, yes, how did you first get into it? And I thought that was an amazing video to do this New Year's so that you guys can start your spiritual journeys in 2021. Or at least if you are on one now, you can find different resources from this video in order to keep building upon your journey or in order to keep on asking questions, learning new things, and evolving your practice and all the things that you do. And I truly hope that this video is helpful to a bunch of you guys because I want you all to start a spiritual journey so that we can get this magic together. And the comment did ask, is it all intuition? And yes, it can be. If you come from a very spiritual family like I did and you just have been gaining all of this your entire life in the womb before you were even thought of, then yes, it could be all intuition and you can just get on into the magic, baby. But if not, like my subscriber or like you probably watching this video, if you're thinking about starting a spiritual journey, I wanna teach you different ways that you can tune into your intuition, that you can open your third eye, that you can grow your intuition and learn different things that helps you tune in to the knowledge that your soul has already blueprinted into your brain in the universe. There's universal knowledge that we all can intuitively learn and intuitively find out through symbolism and things like that, history, and you can really build upon your intuition, your third eye, your clairvoyance, your clairaudience. Your, you can build these things and learn how to astro project and speak to spirit guides and all of those things. And hopefully this video will be your guide on how to start. Let's not make this intro too, too, too long. Let's roll right into the video. <laughs> and if you like my necklace or my jewelry that I'm wearing, check out ajasaura.com. It is almost up. It is almost ready to go. I'm doing it all by myself, baby, so be patient. This is my Agate Geo necklace. It's obviously one of a kind, but stay tuned and let's get into how to start your spiritual journey in 2021. So, before you start anything, we're gonna speak about this intuition a little bit more. Because before you can start your spiritual journey, you wanna sit down with yourself and see what you already know. You know, see what you intuitively already can see, see what messages are there, see who's trying to communicate with you before you even get into anything. And you can tune into your intuition through meditation. You want to sit and meditate and you want to meditate focusing on am I ready to start my spiritual journey or focusing on are there any guys out there that can help me start my journey. Meditate and ask are there any energies in the universe that would like to help guide me. Ask things like that 
sit and meditate with it and every single thing that pops into your head you want to remember that and write it down at the end anything like first things first if you see and you feel that your universe is ran by a goddess and not a god and you think it's a woman then take that and run with it so you can take that that you have already feel inside and you then go find different religions and different practices and different things that have a goddess present find a practice that is in line with what you already feel so that way you can ride the wavelength of the universe your universe some people don't believe in goddesses some people do no one's wrong here intuition so you're going to journal everything every impression that comes into your brain while you're meditating and trying to find out ask your universe what do i know what can come to me what messages can you send down to me who can you send down to me in order to help me start my journey and once you are actually ready to do that let's move on to step two and step two to me i think is the most important thing that you can do and it's going to be cleanse so we are going to spiritually cleanse before you start anything because you don't want any negative influences in your aura around your body flowing through you around you in your home while you're trying to start a journey while you're trying to connect with your universe and your guides and everything you don't want negative energies or bad vibes or other things that aren't welcome to interfere with that and to do this you can check out my smudging 101 video where i show you a whole bunch of different ways to smudge and smudging is a native american practice that cleanses and works with energy so that you can clear them out and invite other ones in and things like that you can also use florida water of course I got my Florida Water 101 video and this you can use to physically and spiritually cleanse yourself, your home, your objects, anything that you receive, you can physically cleanse it with Florida Water, with smudging, or lastly with selenite. I would totally recommend getting selenite to start your spiritual journey. It is a crystal that you can use for cleansing and purification cleanse your aura with it you can see in my video above on how you can do that different ways to do that and there are so many ways you can cleanse ocean water sand just go watch the videos <laughs> but I know Dorothy the acts that she's already seen those videos so you know that step it is a great starter practice that you can do every single day and it clears your head it clears out your chakras and all of that so that you can welcome in those energies along your journey you can welcome in guides and things like that and I would do that before you start studying simply because you don't want to start studying and get introduced to the wrong energies the wrong spirits no ma'am <laughs> and while you're cleansing your mind every day and you are building it and you are now cleaning out the old mess you're going to want to start building it up alchemically <laughs> so we're gonna do some alchemy in this cleansing step because we want to restart so so you need to start drinking metals tuning in to your third eye your electromagnetic field you need to use these in order to and i'm going to have a whole entire video as to why i drink metals but you can drink colloidal gold silver and these really help you connect with the universe open up your mind open up that third eye and i also drink copper and platinum I divvy mine up into little dropper bottles so here's mine for the silver or here's mine for the gold this is what I keep my silver in this is where I keep my platinum and copper now people always say that this is really advanced but I feel like if I had started doing this at the beginning of my spiritual journey as opposed to 
after I'd already started practicing, then my third eye would have opened a lot faster. My intuition would have grown a lot faster. I would have been able to connect with the universe a lot faster. It helps you astral project quicker, lucid dream better. Just, and I mean faster as in, it just, you got to watch the video, okay? Just watch the video. <laughs> it's coming up. I, I just don't have time to explain all that in this one. <laughs> and that leads us into step three. Get to know your ancestry, your relatives, and your history. You need to do a 23andMe, get a DNA test. <laughs> you need to talk to and learn from your older family members. Learn how they practice. Learn the histories of their religions. Your relatives can honestly teach you a lot and help you go back in your own family history. 23andMe, they'll give you, okay, you're 12% Irish and you're, you know, whatever, whatever percent of whatever, whatever. Okay, and, you know, like, <laughs> I, I have grandparents alive. I had great grandparents in high school. And you know what a great way to find your history is looking up obituaries online of your past relatives and that led me all the way back to the 1800s because i found you know my great grandparents and then their parents and their sisters and their brothers and their great grandparents and their great grandparents etc etc and going through and it can help you learn their religions, it can help you learn different parts of your family tree and tuning into those different parts can help you learn how you want to practice. I'm Native American, I love smudging. Some people love Florida water, like a lot of Latinos <laughs> love Florida water. I, it's not funny, I'm just saying. And a lot of white girls love crystals. It's so, That's why I give you so many different options in all my videos for so many different practices. I love to use all of them because my magic is my magic and it is what it is. I'm on my spiritual journey as well and it is all trial and error. And knowing your history and your ancestors and everything like that can also help you know what tools and what things you want to use to study. For example, Dorothy <laughs> might not be reading healing plants of Nigeria <laughs> because um, Miss Thang is not Nigerian. Me, because I <laughs> am part Nigerian, these plants will tune into, tune in, these plants will tune into my, in, these plants will tune into my intuition and my, and my history and my ancestry and just my DNA. And these are the type of things that would work in my magic. Does that make sense? <laughs> Girl, this video was so hard to explain. I really hope that makes sense. So step four is studying and reading and binge watching my videos <laughs> because you are going to want to study and this is my favorite part. It lasts for the rest of your life. So be ready for this part. You're gonna wanna study things like astronomy. Here's a book for that. <laughs> like, you're gonna wanna have to study astronomy and the things that are happening in the stars, in the universe, with our planets, because that helps you in your entire journey to even know what the hell anyone's talking about. How do you know you're a Taurus and you don't know what Taurus is in the sky? Those are the kind of things that help build your intuition and help open your third eye. You are also then gonna wanna study astrology. These are just some books that I can pop up and show you, but you're gonna have to do a lot more than read this book. <laughs> but astrology, you're gonna wanna learn the zodiac and the houses and everything like that because astronomy and astrology then connect to your tarot cards. They then connect to oracle decks. They then connect to how to use the moon in order to do magic. You can't do that if you don't even know what the moon is in the sky. That's why astronomy and astrology are really important for your spiritual journey. And you are also gonna want to study different religions. <laughs> and I say this, okay, I never saw this to be important until I read this book, A History of God. And it really opens your mind to 
if you learn other people's ideas of God and the universe, you might resonate with those more than um, your mom made you be Catholic. You know, like you might resonate more <laughs> with Hinduism. So all that to say, learn different histories of the universe, of gods. Let me show you. Do you want to study just the regular old Christian Holy Bible? You want the easy NIV version or you want the hardcore King James version? It doesn't matter. You can choose a Christian Bible and learn about Christian Jesus before and after death. Then we have the complete Apocrypha and this is for y'all Christian ladies and Catholic ladies and it is actually the stories that were before Noah. So it is the 12 books before Noah. It explains how Cain died. We got Enoch in this book. Abraham's tortured in this book. It's things that your church is leaving out. Like, <laughs> there's, there, do you see all these pages? They're leaving them out. They don't want you to know these stories. They don't want you to know the torture and the pain and the things that people went through. But that's your God though. So learn, <laughs> learn these things. Seriously, like on your spiritual journey, you have to learn things that you don't even wanna know about. You don't wanna know about Enoch. It's a story about murder, but it goes before your, it goes before your Holy Bible. And if you read yours chronologically, then you definitely, you need to get this before you even read this because you have to create your own spiritual journey and you can't let people tell you how to run it in 2021. My grandpa can throw a King James in my face all day, every day, but it won't stop me because if you're already here on this video, your intuition is already telling you there's something more. Church ain't satisfying. Or do you want to learn the Jewish story. Jesus was a Jew. So of course, I want to learn what it was he practiced if I'm gonna follow him. So even if <laughs> you are a hardcore Christian Catholic, I would suggest reading the Jewish Bible. This is my little study one, my little JPS Bible in English. Y'all, I'm not reading Hebrew and I'm not learning Arabic to read my Quran. <laughs> <laughs> which is the next step but if you are you know studying and learning about God Jesus's father why not learn the religion that Jesus had learned because it 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 will resonate with you some of the things that he did might already be intuitively in you now do you want to follow Islam and study the Quran the Muslim Bible mine is in Arabic and English and it is great to just learn other people's religions. Learn why they worship Allah instead of white Christian Jesus, <laughs> instead of white Christian God. But, you know, learn the different things and learn different ways that other people practice because you might want to add it into your practice. If you can learn different ways that people worship, you might want to do the same thing. And why do they worship one over another? You might want to do the same thing. Next, maybe you resonate with Egyptian practices. So you can read the Kabbalion and you can read the Emerald Tablets. If you are an alchemist, you've probably, I'm sure, already read the Emerald Tablets <laughs> and the Kabbalion. These go hand in hand. You got to read them both. And you can get these really cheap because they are such old historical text and I would combine these with any religion because I feel that alchemy is very important and we're going to talk more about that later when we talk about drinking metals. <laughs> But are you gonna follow Egyptian paths? It is, there's so many different options to choose. People just throw you into Catholicism and they get you baptized and you have no idea what else is out there. Do you want to follow Hinduism? I'm gonna butcher this, but the Bhagavad Gita, as it is, it is his divine grace. And this is the Hindu scripture, part of the Mahabharata, the third largest religion 
in the world. That's what I'm saying. These are huge <laughs> religions. And if they got this big of a following, there must be some truth to all of them. So pick and choose what you want to follow. Pick and choose what you want to embrace in your spiritual journey. And lastly, for my spiritual sisters, <laughs> the seven powers, the African power, the seven African powers, the Orishas. Now I am more in tune with my Native American side of monotheism, um, but goddesses, as opposed to one God, you add that in. See, I follow the Native American God, but I can also worship my goddesses, African spirits. So that's why you really got to know where are you from because you can tune into this type of guidance and you can study and learn about it so that you can learn how to tune into it. And while you're studying, please, please, please keep a journal and keep one for every different subject. So this is <laughs> my astrology journal. So I have one specifically for astrology and y'all have seen this video already <laughs> and y'all have seen this video already i've made videos on these things so that y'all don't gotta study like i did i've got my tarot journal you know like and then i have separate things this is like my spell book and then i have different things for studying i have a grimoire i have just a regular old notebook that I just jot shit down in. Baby, you need to, <laughs> you're gonna have so many notes, so many notebooks, it's going to be like you are back at school. <laughs> and that's gonna be step four, which is studying your history, your science, your religions, and everything that relates to witchcraft and spirituality and manifestation and things like that. You've got to move with the universe. So you've got to learn about the universe. So that rolls right into step five, which is choosing how you want to practice. Do you just want to do strictly spirituality and mindfulness? And are you just an empath and you want to learn how to work with energies? Girl, choose that and then get like a workbook. <laughs> so this is my empath workbook, which helps you empower yourself as an empath with practical tools for living your best life so it's not like witchcraft it's just working with universal energies that we just learned about because we've been studying astrology and astronomy etc etc <laughs> or choose what kind of witch you want to be choose what kind of magic you want to do do you want to do crystal magic and be a crystal witch enrich your life by delving into the art of crystal magic or do you want to do hoodoo root and herb magic are you a root worker are you a crystal witch are you a green witch you want to work in the kitchen are you an eclectic witch and you just do everything you a christian witch and you you know worship your holy trinity and don't use any of these except for the universal energy of god so you got to get books that teach you what kind of witch you want to be learn different practices i'm eclectic because i practice whatever the hell i want and that's just on period but i love crystals specifically i do i wouldn't call myself a crystal witch though because i do root work and herb work and magic you guys have seen my spells and my potions and my candle magic but you know get a spell workbook so this is the book of crystal spells and this is the crystal witch book get these together or learn how to create your own spells this is how i like to do my magic because it makes them more unique to yours and when magic is unique to you it works <laughs> taking other people's stuff is not gonna work for you you should customize everything you do customize every spell and make it work for you and this book teaches you how to work with the elements another video that i got coming up and just different things that you can use in order to create spells and how to if you want to do a candle spell how do you even start you got to get books like these 
or watch my videos because all of that is coming up. <laughs> But yes, step five, choose how you wanna practice. Do some research. Do you wanna be a green witch? Do you wanna be a crystal witch? Do you wanna be an eclectic witch? Do you want to be a dark witch, black witch, um, Christian witch, um, a Catholic witch? Jesus was a witch, so there's that, you know. But choose how you want to practice. Now, step number five, you are going to have to start meditating in order to find your spirit guides and in order to find guidance and your ancestors and connect to angels and connect to God, Jesus, Allah. You need to meditate in order to read their messages to see their impressions to start receiving their messages in your dreams you have to start meditating today now right when you're done watching this video <laughs> and it'll really help you get more spiritual connections guidance it'll help you tune into your intuition open your third eye and all around just help your journey and number six you're gonna wanna start choosing crystals and other divination objects that resonate with you in order to help your meditation and to guide your meditation and to guide your spiritual practices and your magic and things like that. So you can have a pendulum. Mine is missing in action. <laughs> so I had to buy a new one. It's, in, it's coming in the mail. Or are you someone that wants to ask your dowsing rods questions? Do you wanna practice divination and mindfulness and spirituality with dowsing rods? These are the ones that you hold and you ask a question and they move either in or out depending on which. So you know, it, it's the same as with a pendulum. So you ask like, show me yes, show me no. And you ask questions that are truths and lies and things like that and you use the pendulum in the same way I can't believe I don't have it but y'all can see me use it in this video unboxing my light Sears cards <laughs> and you can choose crystals you can wear them you can meditate with them you can do all types of things with them there's so many different ways you can use them sleep with them keep them in your purse keep them in your bra Keep the, carry them around with you and you will start to connect with them more and be able to communicate with them and they can guide you and help you and put you on the same wavelengths in the universe as you are in heaven. Another tool that you can use in your magic is your tarot deck. You can get the original Rider weight, which I would suggest, y'all can see mine is beat the fuck up, <laughs> but use original Rider weight cards. Oh, the sun popped out. <laughs> or do something more fancy i'm about to unbox this for you guys right now when i'm done recording this but i just got them they're the new cosmic slumber tarot for body mind and spirit divination and tarot but choose what deck you want choose how you want to tune into your universe choose how you want to pick up and read universal messages do you want oracle cards these help with the messages these help with guidance these help you tune into angels and guides and things like that and just help you read their messages more easily and i'm gonna link this as soon as i'm done unboxing it i will link the video for you <laughs> but really start choosing divination items that resonate with you and that you can use to help you in your practice and to help connect you with the universe and energies that you couldn't normally do just yourself you know intuitively some people can read tarot with a deck of playing cards intuitively there's just different levels and last but not least i just want to tell you guys for number seven that this is a lifelong journey you never are gonna stop you'll never have every answer that you're looking for unless you are are one of those silent monks <laughs> that is just went on their spiritual journey and they had their awakening and they hung upside down from a tree for 30 days and 30 nights and it's a girl boo it is a lifelong journey to evolve your spirituality and grow with yourself and to be in line with whom you are in heaven, whom your soul wanted you to be. And if you're already on this video, 
you're on the right path. You have tuned into your intuition somehow, some way, and you're ready for the next steps. And hopefully this video helps you get there. But thank you so, so much for making it all the way to the end. I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out ajasaura.com and all my other videos mentioned. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace.